You're absolutely correct. And they're going to keep right on doing it as long as they can do it to enrich themselves before this whole thing collapses as insulation, if you, as you, if you may. And I can assure you they're not keeping it in dollars. Uh, you know, they're buying four or five mansions, but they're also buying gold and silver. They have to be. You know, what else is safe with their money? Absolutely. Thank you, Dee. Jeff in Ohio, you're on the air with the fellow that heads up the internationalforecaster.com. Go ahead. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Yeah, I heard you mention earlier in the program uh, Gary Allen, and I'm curious, though, about, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, and I appreciate what you're doing, you know, trying to expose, you know, the global elites and all that, but have you ever read uh, Conspiracy, a Biblical View by Dr. Gary North? I don't believe so, but I've, 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 I've heard of it. Have you ever, well, yeah, Gary North, uh, he, he is based in Texas, I believe, but, uh, it basically, his premise, and I tend to agree, is that, and this is where, where I'm concerned and frustrated, is that, that we try, we've been trying for years to try to expose the elites, yet, the thing is, I'm kind of wondering if Gary North hit it on the head because that he contends that exposure is not enough. You know, we we tend to think that you know if everybody just knew about this uh, these global elites, they'd do the right thing. Um, he contends though that no, that's not necessarily the case. And the thing is, I also remember Edmund Burke says people get the uh, leadership they deserve. And, uh, All right, just... listen, uh, Jeff, Jeff, you, you, you make a good point. Let's get a comment from Bob Chapman, then you can follow up. Go ahead, Bob. Well, what is the solution that Mr. North uh, uh, gives us? Well, he says basically uh, to start uh, working from the ground up, from the uh, bottom up, and uh, basically follow biblical ethics. Well, that's exactly what we do, and we that's have guest right. after that's guest what I've been after doing guest. For 50 years. And, and G. And Edward Griffin. I've, I've known Gary North for 30 years. I know him quite well. Well, I mean, let's just be clear. I, I, and I don't think you're criticizing and implying we're doing this, but we kind of ruffle our feathers and take umbrage. I have G. Edward Griffin on over and over again about the long view of history, his Freedom Force International. I believe going for a long view, shock, uh, short view, and the middle view. I say attack on all fronts. I believe action and motivation and throwing yourself against the gears of the globalist, you have to first expose it. So we're simultaneously doing that and now having, they've gone from saying 10 years ago the CFR didn't exist and Rothschilds didn't exist. There are hundreds of news articles, Bob, you remember all this, saying it doesn't exist. Now they say, oh, it exists, but we need a world government. And so people are saying, no, we don't want that. See, if we just try to have solutions at the grassroots, no one knows what we're talking about. We have to teach them the language. It's like we have a different language. They've forgotten our language of liberty and freedom and history. So we're like trying to teach Helen Keller how to first understand this so we can then teach her how to how to write and read and you know with Braille and all this other stuff. So it's a multi what I see is way too many people though spending their time critiquing everyone else about the good job they need to do, well, how about we just whoop some butt here? How about we just get in the fight? Because, you know, because I don't have time to sit here and quarterback everybody else. And I'm not saying you're bad or Gary's bad or any of this is bad. My whole issue is all I talk about solutions. Reach out to the military and police to follow their oath. Huge solution. Put up posters everywhere exposing Obama as a fraud and, and, and the New World Order and giving them a website to go to. It gets people out, gets them active, gives them a sense of hope. Uh, go to the town halls. How many years have I said that? Take over all their events. Don't let them have the illusion. I mean, I'm the guy 14 years ago going and getting arrested at town halls. Okay, this is, this is, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. And taking over the counties, taking over the cities. I was just telling the last caller that we created the towns and cities. We've got to take them over. I always say, don't focus on the national election. Focus on the local election. 
uh, that the national election overall is a diversion, except for issues. That's why Ron Paul must run in 2012, because even if he has no chance of winning, he's there to inject real issues. Resistance is victory. Resistance is victory. The will to stand up and go, you may kick my butt, but I'm going to fight you as hard as I can. It's that spirit that cannot be defeated. And so I just get mad when I hear it in any way implied that, oh, well, you know, this person says this or, you know, the government we deserve. Yes, we're getting the government we deserve. That's why we're saying we're sorry we've been corrupt, God. We're going to get up off our big fat butts and do something. Anything else, Jeff? Yeah, you also mentioned about the language of freedom. You know, that reminds me of in uh, George Orwell's 1984 you know, they basically destroy words and, uh, you know, bend and twist and distort the language so people can't even conceive of the notion of liberty. Excellent point. Now they're telling the public to say socialism or say a bad word about government means you want to kill black people. It's racist. And some of the public actually believes it now and is calling for my death and saying, so you're not allowed to talk bad, and so I agree. So we go out and educate them to the hoax. Appreciate the call. Bob Chapman. I agree, but um, I think we have to look at everybody has a different or somewhat different approach to this. And you're fighting on all fronts, and I am too. Uh, other people aren't, and they can do what they can, and we applaud them for what they're doing, uh, but we're going to do it our way. Exactly. I mean, I never tell people how they should do something, okay? And and because I mean, I found in my life, if I start trying, we, we got too many people trying to be managers here, okay? All I'm saying is, folks, you're smart. You know what to do. You know you're good. You know you're not a new world order shell. The last thing the new world order would tell you to do would be to take action peacefully and believe in yourself and and and. and Get involved. People always say, I'm a Fed. No, no, the Feds would never say that. That's 180 degrees. You know you're good. Let's just decide I'm bad, just so the debate's over. Don't defend me. Leave Alex in the dust. I wanted to defeat the New World Order. Go out then and wake people up. Warn them. Get involved. You know that's real. You know you're good, so there's no excuse. People say, well, they've got better ideas for posters. Start a poster contest. I mean, that's what this is all about, folks. Let's take another call here. Inger in Florida, you're on the air. Hi, Alex. Hi, Bob. Uh, first time caller. Thank you so much for taking my call and for the awesome jobs you guys are doing, waking up Thank everybody. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Go ahead. Um, there's been a lot going on in southwest Florida, and I know this isn't probably relative, relative to what you've been talking about just now. but It's all relative. Go ahead. For the last few weeks, um, there's been hundreds of trucks coming out of um, – the limestone quarry carrying limestone, and uh, when I say hundreds, hundreds of trucks. They're Glover trucks. They're yellow trucks. They have the black tarp on the top to hold the stuff in. I was just online on the WHO um, website, and that basically they're using, they use lime for the mass graves. It's in the WHO document. Oh, no, um, they admit they're preparing mass graves. I, I don't know well, about anecdotal evidence of, 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 of limestone trucks. Stay there. Stay there, ma'am. Uh, destruction is kicking back in a little bit, so that might be what that is. But uh, we'll come back, talk about the mass graves, talk about all the Pentagon martial law drills. That's all real and up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Stay with us.